All right, so the video on my phone went up on YouTube, no problem. I've um, restarted and stopped this and powered it on, so maybe after this one it'll go up. If not, I'll make another video, but there we go. So this one's over my um, Olive Drab Tactical Plate Carrier, which is diff different than my Recce. My Recce is more, you know, like I said, um, recon of observation kind of stuff. Um, this one, you know, can be used for that, sure, but I don't, wouldn't think a lot of people would be wearing plate carriers in the woods and fields and whatnot. It might be the bottom of a, a sack or at a cache or something. Hey, cat. How you doing, buddy? All right. So, yeah. So, the, here's the concept. Yes, yeah, so this, this is a, what I got here. It's got a front dangler. I recently got a uh, new setup pouch. Um, instead of the kangaroo pouch, I'm, I'm using this Spoke Molly attachment. It, uh, I think it's just sturdier. And the kangaroo patch, after a while, is just like wearing down. I've had it for four, four years or so. And, uh, you know, plus this has the. Uh, the retention bands, which keeps keep it in place, so it's pretty great. Got my uh, radio here. Um, so you got my quick detach right here. Um, so I have a D ring or you know whatever. Um, in case I loop something up or use it to maintain my rifle or sling or something like that. I got a push to talk right here. And so I actually uh, hooked on to anything. I'm, I'm using a um, some kind of video about um, uh, marine equipment and how they use uh, the Ranger bands to go through the molly to hold it. And I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Um, what else do I have here? Let's see. Um, my name. And I have my blood type. Um, we got an IR reflective flag, and if anything else, if IR is like a problem, I can always just take it off and put on a different one. Um, I have a camera back on here, and all times this sits in my vehicle, and that's why there's nothing in the uh, bladder right now. And I can always take it out in the uh, tube, because I would think that in the winter, um, probably better off having a metal can. That way you can throw it in fire and melt it. You can't really do that with uh, this freezing on your back trying to a giant icicle. So, I just put it on here just for illustration purposes. Um, this is my, uh, my bladder carrier, which is a, a Viper. And it's uh, pretty good sized. I got my uh, cover bun from AR500. And what I did was... Um, this quick detach, it's got looks like a uh, molly um, lace. I'll see if I can show it to you. And you use it to weave it through like that. And that's how that attaches. It came with two other straps, which I couldn't really figure out what they're for, so I didn't put them in. Uh, here's a little tip when you're reattaching your tube. Go through the top. It's a lot easier. And the whole reason behind that is for a, a quick detachment needs as necessary in case you have the bell out or whatever. Um, the Dinkler still has kind of like miscellaneous stuff in it. I still plan on making it a, a medical kit. I want to order some uh, different supplies than what's in my other IFAC and uh, put it in there. The only regret I have is this doesn't have a Velcro patch on it, uh, which would be useful if I could designate it with like a medical emblem, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, like I said, I got my new magazine pouches on here, so I can hold three rifle mags and three pistol mags, so that's pretty great. Oh, and I have the belt, which I haven't used in a while, but it's kind of cheapo, but it's, you know, it works. This is very similar to what I have on the front of my rig. Except it doesn't have the retention bands here. Um, it's it's worked for me for the last few years, so it's pretty decent. And this works in conjunction with the plate carrier. Um, 
So I have two extra mags, two extra pistol mags if I need to. So I'd be running six, one in the rifle and five on my person, which is just, I think, one short of infantry load. I have this holster. Uh, I forget the name of the company. It's got this, like, lever, and it pushes down. It, it It's a Israeli company, and uh, it sucks. It's, it doesn't want to come out, and it's, it's a cool concept, but implementation sucks. The only reason I probably even have it is because it's got a moly attachment panel in the back. It's like I'm running on my belt. I do have a canteen on here. Um, it's got a plastic canteen with a metal uh, canteen holder. So I can take out my camel back and supplement this instead. I have plenty of room on my back. Where I plan on getting a, a quick detach IFAC and throwing it on the rear there. And then also have uh, suspenders for it if I need to, which aren't on it. But yeah, this is pretty much my rig. Um, I'll put it on real quick. This is what. And just so I haven't worn a green shirt today. Um, yeah. So it would work. And then um, what I do is on one side of the carrier, I, I designate one side to get in, get outside. That's going to be my left hand side. I can use my right hand side. Um, and the only reason I may not do that is because, if you can tell, my wires are pretty cinched up. The only one you can really see is there. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, Here real quick. Yep, when you put on your cover button, make sure it's not twisted. And that's that. So this would be my loadout in um, like an urban environment or just in my vehicle or uh, during the summertime um, I may or may not make a version of this in a, um, a coyote brown for um, like a more outdoors uh, version with like a multicam setup this is more for like my woodland oh that's something else I can show too I was watching Alpha Charlie Concepts and a great idea so I have a woodland combat shirt and one of the problems with it is the material is thin so you can breathe because it's obviously meant for summer conditions and that's great but when it comes to like gnats biting bugs mosquitoes stuff like that it'd be a real pain in the ass and they're biting right through that shirt so what he did was he went ahead and took a little woodland uh, you know, VDU blouse, cut the sleeves off, and ran it that way. And at first, I was like, "Oh man, that's pretty redneck." I don't, I don't know about all that, you know. But then I went and did it, and it, oh, it's a good idea. Actually, let's have to do this together. Let's see if I can get it real quick. On the surface, you know, it's like a blouse. Not a big deal. But then, this is the actual vest. This is the combat shirt, which is very neat. And I gotta say, it looks pretty decent uh, together. And that would definitely protect you in the summertime uh, from bugs and things like that. Plus, I think the addition of the uh, collar here, which is more elastic and uh a little more suited versus the the cloth cotton uh, collar that comes with it um might be a good function also but i was really impressed by it honestly and you have extra pocket space you can plug in here too so that worked really well i also need to come up with a um a recce rig that's an um so basically with the woodland 
I want to roll off driver so they blend together. And by the same contrast with my multi game stuff, I want to run Coyote Brown with it because the the base color blends in with it all together. It's not going to throw it off. Um, in fact, it seems to me from the videos I've seen and when I've been out in these different ranges shooting and whatnot, when it's all pattern, it seems to stick out. Like, you notice also when it's the solid color, it sticks out, but it's different. It, like, it flows together better. It, um, under still countries right now that still use solid color patterns, um, and they're in the military, uh, most famous ones by Israel, and they're all of drabs. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think that's, that might be the way to go in the future. Um, what sucks is I'm going to have to make a, a recce, um, chest thing. I'm thinking about using one of those micro rigs, um, in a different color. Uh, either is my recce setup for that, or it's just like a range thing, because the micro rigs are cool, because you can just wear that, and maybe a thin battle belt. And then that to me is good for like uh, training classes and stuff like that. We can just wear jeans and t-shirt. It's on you. It teaches the same principles as like a body armor kit or whatnot without having to look overly tactical. And I think that's probably a, a good way to go about doing that. But uh, let's hope and see this video goes up. Wish me luck.